Well, hey, you guys, welcome. It has been seriously so long since I filmed in this whole setup. So if the lighting is weird, if it's a little much, I'm sorry, I have to re like figure it out because it has seriously been like over three months. It's, it was since before baby came out, you know, she was in my tummy the last time that I filmed here. Now she's out, she's three and a half months and I gotta sort this out for when I'm able to do this. But I figured the lighting didn't have to be perfect today because I'm just gonna be showing you my trash in this video. I have a whole bunch of empties, makeup, skincare, hair care, tons and tons and tons of stuff to share with you. And I love doing these videos because I feel like I have a really good feel for a product once I completely finish something. So I can tell you guys today whether I would repurchase, maybe I already did repurchase, or whether I don't want to anymore for one reason or another. So grab yourself a snack, grab yourself something to drink, cause this is gonna be a chatty video. I did get myself something to drink. I have a little iced coconut mocha latte here today. I used my Nespresso machine to make this. I love it so much. I do have to do decaf though. So I use two paws of the Intenso, no decafenuto Intenso, two of those pods for the espresso, but you can use caffeinated if you need that. And and I did a half a tablespoon of Ghirardelli chocolate syrup, half a tablespoon of coconut syrup. It was the Monin this time. And then what else? A, li a little bit of creamer and then spun that with some milk and voila iced perfection. <laughs> I seriously love my Nespresso machine. Oh my goodness. By the way, if you are new to my channel and my face and YouTube randomly recommended this video to you, my name is Ashley Alex, and I would love it so much if you consider subscribing if you want to see more videos from me, which is beauty and lifestyle videos. I try to do three times a week, but right now baby's going through a sleep regression, so it's getting really challenging, but I'm doing my best. If you're wondering where I am any given week, hop over to my Instagram, check out my Insta stories, because I'm probably chatting with you guys over there, because that is really quick and easy, and I can make some quick content for you over there too. But enough of the pre chit chat. You would think I'm caffeinated, but it's decaf. It's probably the sugar. Okay. <laughs> if you're ready to dive into this box of trash with me, my bin of trash, there's so much, then you're in the right place. And all you need to do now is sit back, hang tight and keep on watching. Boop. All right, so let's talk first about these body care products that I've been wanting to talk to you guys about. So this is both, these are both from the brand Raw Sugar. Now you can find these at Target. I'm pretty sure Walmart also sells them. So if you need something that's cruelty-free on the more natural side in a pinch, there you go. I love this one. It's the Raw Sugar Simply Body Wash. I got the, the smell, the shade. I got the smell pineapple, berry, and coconut. It's a 24 ounce bottle, which I love. If you are familiar with cruelty-free lines and more natural lines. Usually they carry a very hefty price tag, but I believe this giant bottle was around six to eight dollars, which is the most reasonable one I found. And I really did like it. I think that it suds up really nicely. It works for the whole family. It is really nice. So if you are looking for body wash in a more substantial size, check out this brand. Their scrubs are awesome too. And not only that, but they make a kid's version now too, which as an adult, I also use it, but my five-year-old loves this line. This is the Raw Sugar Kids. This fragrance is the Strawberry Vanilla and it smells just like strawberry shortcake. Um, nom, 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 nom. It is so, 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 so good. We're on our third bottle now. So I use it, she uses it, we interchange, it's super fun. We also have the pineapple one. I forget the official name of that one, but that pineapple one smells really good as well. Again, it suds up nice, but it's more of a natural line. It smells great, cruelty-free. I love it. Try it out whether you're an adult or you're buying for your kids because it smells that good. I used to buy the native line all the time, but that, those are pricey, $10 and I would go through those bottles so fast. So this raw sugar line is a much better bang for your buck. So these ones I have been wanting to share with you guys for so long, but I've never done, I haven't been able to do a video to like talk about them. So now is the time. These are from the Sol de Janeiro line, which makes that famous bum bum cream and it's their shampoo and conditioner. And boy, do these smell good. They smell just like the bum bum line. Oh, they're so yummy. I think it's like pistachios and caramels and just nutty, but also beachy at the same time. It's just a good, mix of fragrance and these shampoos and conditioners are hydrating and smoothing so i don't use this one all the time that's why i mean it took a long time for me to be able to show you guys these empties because it took so long they're super concentrated but my daughter does use them a lot in fact i already repurchased them mostly for her because i have to use a lot of like purple shampoos blonding shampoos special ones these ones are more of a treat for me but her she needs this all the time, which I know it's kind of bougie to be buying my five to six year old these, but nothing else works on her hair. Her hair is thick and very curly and this helps 
detangle for the most part. It's not perfect, doesn't do perfect detangling, but so many, like I try to buy curly brands for her and they are all so drying, which is crazy. So I love this smoothing line because it isn't like a heavy smooth. I don't feel any residue on her hair or anything. It just gently adds a bit of hydration, a bit of smoothness, but makes it a little less tangles and it doesn't weigh your hair down but it also doesn't dry. It's just the perfect balance. So I love those, highly recommend, already repurchased it. Just beautiful and it smells amazing too. I love it. They have a dry shampoo that just came out and I want that too and the deodorant. Mm. Okay, another shampoo. Let's talk about the Amica Rust Your Brass Cool Blonde Shampoo. Oh, that's a tongue twister. So yeah, I do like the shampoo, but I do need to switch up or else, you know, it like gets a buildup on my hair. Since I am blonde, I can tend to like hold on to things. So I didn't repurchase when I was done with this. I'm testing some different purple ones. I think I have the Pureology one right now, which I do like, but I'm not obsessed with it. I do like the Amica, but once I went through an entire bottle, I noticed that it was just leaving too much color deposit on my hair. My hair was starting to look muddy. So I'm not gonna, I'm gonna give it a break. Try something else. Maybe the Moroccan oil one I'll try next because I know they have one too. Stay on hair care products, sure. Moroccan oil, finishing spray, hairspray, stronghold. I have the medium and the strong. I like them both. They're not such a difference, but I do tend to go with the strong just so I get a little extra strength in my hairspray. I love the smell of these. They're not offensive. They don't have that typical alcohol type of smell. It smells a lot, a lot like the Moroccan oil line, but just less intense. I do really like that hairspray. It doesn't leave a weird residue and it doesn't make my hair feel like a helmet or anything. I don't know how many bottles of that I've purchased. I've talked about them on empties. You know the drill. Ooh, uh, I've never talked about falsy empties before because they're a weird thing to call empty, but they're in my trash. They are done. These are from ColourPop. It's their falsies. I have the style in Mammy and Batty. The Batty ones are really intense and the Mammy were a little bit more like wearable more wispy and I liked it okay. I don't like them enough to repurchase them though. I love my House of Lashes. For me personally, they just fit my eyes so well. Just pop right on. I'm wearing House of Lashes right now. These ones have a thick band just like House of Lashes does, but they just feel thick on my, I know that they're there. So I don't love the ColourPop lashes. I think the band is too thick. But a thin band, I don't like either. These ones are just too heavy though. I thought House of Lashes is just in between. They're just a perfect in-between balance, okay? Just like the smoothing shampoo. It's not too heavy, but it's not too light either. It's a perfect balance. And that's what I look for in my life, balance. Oh, I'm on another level today. Okay, let's do some candle empties. Oh, I got a lot. Oh, I have a really, I have a lot, a lot. Okay. Oh, these are, cause this is from since winter. Okay. And I even have more that I'm not showing with you, but showing you, but this is some some of my candle empties. So let's start with my favorites, Wishes Candle Company, <laughs> okay? Unbirthday cake candle. And you'll see that there's some in there, but I was using it on a candle warmer. So like it's done, it's it's totally done even though there's some wax in there. So and it's done, I've already repurchased. I love the unbirthday cake. Let me show you what it originally looks like. So beautiful. These candles are just an experience. If you don't know about Wishes Candle Company, they make candles that are Disney park inspired or Disney movie inspired or princess inspired. So the unbirthday cake you can imagine is more like the mad tea party, Alice in Wonderland. So that's where that spin comes from. But the candles themselves are so magical. They have a glittery top. There's a hidden pin inside each eight ounce candle and it's just such a fun experience. So I love the unbirthday cake. That's my favorite. The next one was bag of beignets and I love this one so much too. I'll repurchase this one day, but the next time I'm gonna get churros because I just smelled churros and oh my goodness, it smells just like churros. But Bag of Beignets was lovely too. Now these are some more Disney Park inspired fragrances in case you missed those videos. These are from Magic Candle Company and I have Flying Over Fiji, which was very lovely. Yeah, it's very nice, fresh, kind of like what you would wanna put in a bathroom to make that smell fresh, but I prefer the Yacht and Beach from them. So I'm gonna, or like the Yacht ones. Christmas down Main Street. It's gonna be Christmas again before we know it. Oh, that one is so, it's so nice. I like that they're like almost completely gone. Like they don't burn anymore if I try to light them, but I can still smell the fragrances. It's like buttercream, delicious, just Christmas. But like sweets, Christmas sweets. That's what it smells like. But not sugar, like, like cakes and yummy bakery goods, Christmas baked goods. It's so good. Number 
two, three. I don't remember which number I'm on on these. Good Molecules Instant Cleansing Balm. Still love this cleansing balm for removing my makeup. It is awesome. And I have since used a couple other ones. I used the Milani Avocado Melt one. Don't love that one as much. I don't remember the other one that I used. If you hear Baby, by the way, in the background, she's just hanging out playing in her little pack and play. Just looking at her little mobile and stuff and chewing on her hands. Oh, no, no. Here's some more body care items. This is from Lilicious. There is the pumpkin spice body scrub and the sugar coconut body scrub. Now I get my Lilicious products from my friend at Two Beauties Eureka. She, I will list her website down in the description box and I do have an affiliate code with her now. So you can check that out to save, I think it's 10% off your first purchase, but I love the Lilicious products. If you've watched my YouTube channel for a couple of years, I have been talking about them for a long time. I love their body butters they're like the only thing i can use other than the sol de janeiro that actually make my skin feel moisturized but i love these scrubs because they make my skin feel moisturized too so if you are sick of scrubs drying your skin out these try these because they're awesome i think the pumpkin spice is just their fall christmas scent so i don't think they're there right now in summer but you get the coconut and they're so good next up is the tart deodorant the clean queen it's all right it's all right at best. Nothing has gotten me to go away from my Schmidt deodorant, which I'm, I've done. I'm done saving those to show you guys my empty Schmidt deodorants because I go through them like hotcakes. You know I love them. This one was all right. If you like a baby powdery smell, then it's nice. That's what it, this is. But I just felt like I would have to reapply this one more than my Schmidt's. So that's a no rebuy for me. Also, I think I have like a third of the deodorant left and it's like all stuck and falling apart and it's just a mess. So I'm done with that. Speaking of deodorants though, the native sugar cookie deodorant, this was a fun little treat deodorant for the holidays. So I'm gonna buy another one, a full size. This is a travel size. I might buy a full size during the holidays if they bring it back because sugar cookie just smelled so good. They even had a body wash that I had too. Do I have more of that? I actually might have more of that somewhere. I'm telling you, I have too many body washes. I'm not allowed to buy any more because when I was pregnant, I went like I was bu buying too many body washes. I don't know why I had, a I had a fixation. So I'm not allowed to buy any more until Lush comes out with their holiday. But anyways, sugar cookie was nice. Again, I just felt like I have to reapply it more than I do the Schmitz. It doesn't combat the, uh, the odor as well as Schmitz does, but it was nice. So when I was just around the house or maybe even to sleep in, I would use the sugar cookie. <laughs> and it's so good. But that's for me, Native. Native doesn't last on me across all the fragrances. So that one is just a treat, you know. Okay, Lush stuff. I talked about these in my vlog where I was decluttering my skincare fridge. These were Jelly Face Mask, Bunny Moon, and Rudolph. Rudolph was just a limited edition holiday. Will I rebuy it? It was nice, it was fun. It's like a chocolate mask, but I didn't see a difference with it. It was just fun to do. It only went bad because my skin care fridge broke and I forgot they were in there or else I would have moved them into my regular fridge. Anyways, Bunny Moon was nice though. Bunny Moon, I think they make year round. It's more hydrating, it soothes sensitive skin. So originally I bought this because in the winter months, my skin can get really chapped and this helped kind of recover those, like my chapped nose around my mouth, like that whole area. So will I rebuy it? Maybe but the jelly mouse are just too much of a fuss. You have to like take a little bit out and then work it and then put it on. No, 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 no. I will not be rebuying jelly masks anymore. Too much of a fuss and not enough results. So even though I enjoy that one, no, no, no. This broke. <laughs> you guys know that I loved my little mermaid lash curler from Tarte and it was limited edition from a few years ago, but it broke the other day and I'm so sad. So I figured I'd put this in an empties. You can't get it anymore, which is the saddest part. Right now I'm just using my Melt Beetlejuice eyelash curler and it just doesn't curl my lashes the same. <laughs> I don't like it as much as this one. If I can ever get it again on Tarte's website because sometimes they bring back stuff in their sales section and it's really weird, I'm gonna buy another one of those. So if you ever see it, at me, let me know. At me on Instagram, send me a DM, something, saying, hey, Ashley, the mermaid eyelash curler is available again and I will buy it. And you should too, because it's the best eyelash curler I've ever used. Oh, another Good Molecules product. This is the Hydrogel Eye Patches. I have already repurchased this and it's not the same. <laughs> now that it's not in my skincare fridge because they felt so cooling, so nice in my skincare fridge, but it is broken and I have yet to buy another one. I'm holding out for Black Friday. Maybe there'll be another special somewhere. Charlotte Tilbury <laughs> Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. I'm laughing because the description I'm gonna tell you of this spray is 
it's so accurate. And I thought maybe it was just because I was pregnant at the time. No, it's the same. It's the same. Go into Sephora, smell this, and tell me if you feel the same way. The performance of this airbrush flawless setting spray is amazing. It's one of the best setting sprays I've ever used. I don't like the price point, but let's just look at what it does. It it makes my skin a tiny bit glowy, doesn't add any shimmer, makes my makeup last longer. It just works so good on my skin. I hate the smell so much because it smells like Burger King dollar menu hamburgers with ketchup, pickles, and that really cheap bun that they use. Like that is what this smells like. And it makes me want to gag. It makes me want to gag and throw up. It smells just like it. And it's not that those hamburgers smell terrible, but I don't want my setting spray to smell like that. Go smell it if you know what those Burger King burgers smell like and tell me if I'm wrong because why? Why? And that setting spray is so expensive. Why would you make it smell like that? I'm sure they just don't use fragrance or something. So those are just the ingredients. But if they use fragrance, why did you let that happen? Ah, I haven't found an exact dupe for that, but this is the one that I found closest. Closest dupe for that right now is the Milani Peach Make It Last setting spray because it is an illuminating setting spray, but it doesn't add any kind of shimmer or anything. And it smells like peaches. So I do like that one. This is the closest dupe I found so far, fraction of the cost. So check that one out. Doesn't smell like dollar hamburgers from Burger King. I know that's wildly specific, but that's how like, it just shot back that memory like, oh, I know that smell and I can pinpoint it. Elf Hydrating Camo Concealer. I already rebought this. I do like it. It's not the longest lasting concealer that I own, but for a drugstore concealer, that's not super drying. I really like that camo concealer. That, that's why I bought another one. I think I have two now because I'm not the perfect shade in any of them. So I do have to mix two of them. That's the only like downside I see in it. Okay, more makeup empty. I'm telling you, you got a lot of makeup empties this round. ABH Dip Brow Gel, will not buy again. It was weird. I didn't, I didn't like it because it's like the concept of a brow gel, but it's too, I don't like the consistency because it's too much like dip brow, but not enough like a brow gel. It's just weird, okay? I did see the hack where you can actually like use it with your brush and then put it on, but then it's like, that defeats the purpose and it doesn't keep the hairs in place. The idea, the concept is good. It's like the brow gel and the dip brow all in one, but I still found myself needing a brow gel because this didn't hold my eyebrows strong enough, but then it was hard to like place the color where it needed to go. So not buying that again. Here's the ABH Dip Brow. I stopped using this because I started using the Tarte Big Ego Brow Pomade, and I like that one. The shade match is perfect for me, so I'm just sticking with that one. I'm not gonna be rebuying Dip Brow, but I did buy a bunch back in the day. It's a good product. I just like the Tarte one a little bit better in the shade. Like I said, matches me a little bit better. Oh, Too Faced Melted Matte. This is the sugar cookie. This is the original one that they first launched in that holiday pack. I finally used it all up. I have the new one. The new one is like a shade deeper, but the same tone. So I do really like that one from this last holiday collection. So I'm not too sad, but I still want them to come out with a full size of this. Too Faced, you're not watching this, but I'm telling you, make please, please, please make a full size of sugar cookie. It'll be your best seller. I'm telling you it is so it is such a good nude coverall exhibitionist mascara you know i love it i don't need to go on and on if you're looking for a good dupe for the Too Faced better than sex mascara this is that it has the hourglass shape there and it just does a really good job volumizing lengthening and curling my lashes i've already repurchased this so many times i'm sad about this one this is from revolution pro it's a lipstick it's the New Neutrals lipstick in the shade Stripped specifically, not even specifically, the formula of this lipstick was freaking awesome. Super hydrating, pigmented, really nice. It is like the thing even broke. I love this, I used to take it everywhere. It is so pretty, they discontinued it. It is perfect. I probably need to keep this one somewhere to like go color match. I can't even color match anymore. Nobody does testers. Thanks a lot COVID for so many bleh, stupidness, but I need to find a dupe for that because the shade was perfect, but the formula is so good too. I think they have other shades for the formula. That stripped was the best. ColourPop BFF liquid liner in the black shade, which I think they call it, not I think, it is called Numero Uno. I do like this one. I will repurchase it once I'm done with all my other liquid liners that I have. It's just a little felt tip pen. It's affordable, I like it. It's my favorite like affordable drugstore pen so far. No. There's another one that I like, the Essence, which is like $2, Essence 24 hour ink liner, something like that. That one's really good. 
So maybe I won't rebuy this. But this one lasted longer. I think the essence ran out faster. So it's it's kind of a toss up. I probably will rebuy this next time I put an order in during a sale that they have. I don't know. I'm so proud of myself. I have so many makeup empties that I blasted through. I mean, granted it's been like six months since my last empties video, but nonetheless, I'm proud of myself. This is the Tarte Hydro Sealer C Concealer. I have repurchased this one already. I do like it for those lighter days when I don't wanna wear a lot of makeup. I usually pair this with the Tarte Maracuja Tinted Hydrator. It's a good one. I have the shade 20N Light Neutral and it works good for me. It's not drying, it is hydrating. Not like adds a ton of moisture, but it's just, it's again, it's a perfect balance, a light to medium coverage and it's good. So I can even just wear that, like just in the spots that I wanna conceal and not even need a tinted moisturizer or hydrator or whatever, and that's nice. So check out that Hydro Sealer. The only thing I don't like about it, I would say is the wand. Like you have to take a few dips sometimes. It just doesn't pick up enough product. But otherwise, I mean, that's nitpicking, but I, nonetheless, I do like it. This is the Milk, <laughs> this is the Kush Triple Brow Pen from Milk. I'm starting to feel like a lot of products from Milk are just not good because in my experience, in my opinion, a lot of them haven't worked out for me. I love the, the mascara that they make. That one's really good. What else do I have that I like from them? Like, like their, the cooling stick is nice. Um, this, this is an empty, it's a little, the vegan moisturizer, it was fine. It's a little heavy, but if you're really, really dry, you might like it. This is the triple brow pen and it was garbage from the beginning. So I put it in the empties, but like it wasn't empty, but it is like it, I could use it two times and then it like started coming across empty. It's just not good. It's supposed to have the three little hairs. So cut down on brow time and whatever brow pen but it's just, it doesn't do it. The brow pen itself, like the spongy material, felt material is garbage. It folds upon application and it mushes and it doesn't keep those little lines. So it's absolutely pointless. I think they've already had it on sale or discontinued it. I don't know, they should, they should. You know, the concepts of milk, the concept of a lot of milk products is there. It's a great concept, but sometimes execution just isn't so much. I don't know, let me know what your favorite milk products are, if there's any, what am I missing out on? Because the stuff that I've had tried, I like their setting powder. It is more on the drying side, but I do like their setting powder. So I'm not, shouldn't completely knock the brand. I haven't used a lot, a ton of stuff from them, but like the liquid liner I didn't like, the brow pen I didn't like, um, their foundations I didn't like, concealer, no, so I don't know. The line aesthetically is so so pleasing though. It really is. That's so why I always buy it because I think it's gonna be really good and then it's not. And then it's like at TJ Maxx all the time now too. Oh, the lip balms. I do like the milk lip balms. It's hit or miss. Let's say that. It's 50-50. Got a 50% chance, but it's pricey for being like hit or miss, you know? Cover Girl Easy Breezy Brow Gel. Love this, great affordable brow gel that's tinted. I like that. That's my second tube of that one, by the way. Elf Halo Glow Setting Powder. I've already repurchased this. Love it. My favorite setting powder because it keeps my skin hydrated looking. Doesn't add any shimmer or anything like some glow setting powders will. Doesn't do that. It's just not drying and it sets my makeup and I, and I just love it. I usually use the Tati Blendiful to like press it, tap off the excess and gently press it into the skin. And I just think it is the best. I have the shade light because they do have different shades, which I like too. And I think that's around 10 bucks at the drugstore. I think you get it at Target. These are just two travel size setting sprays. So this is the Cover FX High Performance Setting Spray. This was a nice setting spray. I did like that one. It's a 24 hour wear, but this one I really liked. It's the Pure Lit Mist, okay? This does add like a lot of luminosity to the skin, but it's really pretty. So I loved using this in the winter. I really wanted the Barbie one, but it sold out because I was waiting for it to go on clearance and then it sold out while it was sitting in my cart waiting for me to buy because I didn't want to pay for shipping and, and then I missed out. So if I ever see that at TJ Maxx, I want to buy the Barbie one because it was so cute and a little squeezy guy. And I'm pretty sure it's the same formula, the Lit Mist. So that one was nice, but otherwise, like I don't think I would pay full price for a full size bottle because not only does it add luminosity and I don't always want that, like you know, a bit of a shimmer to it, but I seriously have so many setting sprays that I have to go through before I buy any more. Let me show you. Like that is a lot of setting sprays. That's a lot. I don't need to buy any more. Ashley. <sighs> There's some things that I need to seriously stop buying because I have far too many setting sprays and setting powders. 
much. Amika Perk Up Dry Shampoo, a travel size. It was all right. It was all right. I love the Moroccan oil dry shampoo so much so that I recently bought another one when I was buying a refill of my hairspray and I didn't know that I already had a full size one at home and then I was like, oh, why did I do that? But then it's like, it's fine. I'll use both of them. Baby sounds like she's getting ready to be done or she's just talking to herself actually. Oh, <laughs> she's just hanging out. She's trying kind of to try to roll. She's, she doesn't know. She's, she doesn't know if she's ready to roll or not yet, which is, I feel like making this sleep regression that much longer. Cause sometimes she wants to practice it at night. And then sometimes I think she wakes herself up practicing it and then gets mad cause she wants to sleep. I feel you girl. So that is my trash for the last six months of makeup beauty products for the most part. I might've thrown away some here or there already, but that is the ones that I thought of to put in my box to uh, you know share with you guys. So hopefully that was helpful and maybe I was able to share with you something you've been curious about. Let me know down in the description box if there is any product that you find yourself going through and rebuying over and over. Like what is some holy grail products of yours? Because there were some in here for me, like my CoverGirl Exhibitionist, Elf Halo Glow Setting Powder, Elf Camo, like the CoverGirl Brow Gel. So that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe before you go if you haven't yet. That way you don't miss out on future content. And then if you're not following me over on Instagram and TikTok, Twitter, all those places, you can find me at Ashley Ellix. Get some extended content, get some more daily updates, and I will see you guys next time, all right? Bye.